Today, I'm bringing guys a brand new sports cards video. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the five best Tom Brady cards to invest in before he retires and his prices begin to appreciate. Now, before we get into the video, I did want to say real quick, I wanted to remind you guys about the giveaway we are hosting this week for this Magic Johnson's top solo rookie in a PSA 9. If you want a free chance at a $150 card, all you have to do is subscribe, comment the word done, and like this video, and you will be entered for a free chance at a $150 card. But without further ado, we're going to hop right into this video. So the first card that I believe is going to be a great investment is going to be Tom Brady's 2000 Skybox Impact. Um, now this is obviously, we're going to be going from most affordable to least affordable in this video so hopefully you know we can get everyone included um now this tom brady rookie card is going to be one of his most affordable rookie cards you will ever be able to find um you know it's going for under 100 bucks ungraded now the main reason i personally believe tom brady's cards are going to greatly appreciate is given his current circumstances um so the buccaneers right now are not looking like a super bowl worthy team and for that reason there's a lot of short-term investors that are selling off on Tom Brady cards um, and those cards are going into the hands of long-term investors so right now we're seeing the supply super high because a lot of short-term investors are trying to get out of their Tom Brady cards because his prices may not go up in the next year or so um, however a lot of long-term investors are buying up Tom Brady cards and they're likely going to hold it for you know, five, 10 years or whatever their circumstance is, and that's gonna cause there to be less and less supply. Um, we saw the same thing for years past, um, you know, with players that retire, and after they retire, goats typically begin to appreciate in value. Um, one example is going to be Kobe Bryant. Um, now, obviously, Kobe Bryant's passing, unfortunately, did have a big say in his prices, but even before that tragic event, um, you know, Kobe's last few years in the NBA were not the best performance wise, um, and his prices were at an absolute all time low. Soon after, exactly when he retired, we started to see his prices appreciate and appreciate and appreciate. And of course, they began to skyrocket in 2020. Um, now, I believe something similar is going to happen to Tom Brady. Um, he's undisputably the goat of the sport. And I believe when he retires is when people will truly understand and take a more long-term approach on his cards. And that's going to cause his prices to really rise. Um, so this is personally one of the cards I'm going after. Um, another card that I believe is going to be a great investment is going to be Tom Brady's upper deck rookie card now this is a little bit higher end um, compared to the skybox impact um, but this card right here is you know one of Tom Brady's key rookie cards at the moment um, you know at the moment that to that in 2000 when Tom Brady's rookie cards came out um, this was one of his main rookie cards um, because upper deck was at the top of the sports card you know, market at that time, it was one of the key sets. And I believe that that long term is going to hold a lot of relevance. It is also one of his first rookie cards in a Patriots uniform. Um, so that is going to be big. And that's why you pay a premium on the Skybox Impact to go after his upper deck rookie card. Um, but this card, I believe in the long term, I don't believe many Tom Brady cards are going to be under $1,000. Tom Brady rookie cards are going to be under $1,000 in the future. Um, and so that's why I truly believe this is a safe bet because it's a pro uniform. Um, it's an upper deck, which was one of the key, you know, sports card manufacturers back in the day. And that's why I believe this card's going to do really well in the long term. Um, now, next up, we're going to go a little bit more high end on you guys. Um, for people with a couple thousand dollars to drop, we're going to go after his... Tom Brady's 2000 Fleer Showcase out of 2000. Um, so this is one of Tom Brady's most, I would say, collected rookie cards. Um, and that is solely because of the design on this card. Um, it is an incredibly beautiful card. And on top of that, it is incredibly scarce. Um, these were one of the toughest cards to grade. And it's just a beautiful card. Um, you, you know, this is one that collectors, I believe in the long term, are going to really covet. Um, and if you look at the pop numbers on the higher grades, if you can get into anything above a 9, or anything 9 and above, 
above, you're going to be paying a lot of money right now, but I believe in the long term, it's going to greatly pay off. Um, so these are just, you're going to see most grades going between a 6 and an 8 um, on this Tom Brady, and an 8.5 is considered a very great grade. Um, so you will see some 9s occasionally hit the market, and they are ones that I'm personally going after. Um, the last did sell for $12.7,000, um, but I think in the long term, this is going to be one of Tom Brady's highest performing rookie cards, um, and that is simply because of the design, the iconic, and then of course the scarcity. Um, so this is my personal favorite, to be honest, um, of Tom Brady rookie cards. Um, now without further ado, we're going to hop right into a classic option, and that is going to be Tom Brady's Bowman Chrome. Um, so this is going to be his staple rookie card, higher population than the Fleer Showcase, but higher demand because it's his staple rookie card. And the thing I love about this card is that a lot of fractional ownership companies, a lot of big and institutional investors who come into this space to drop millions of dollars, they're going to be buying up these Tom Brady Bowman Chrome rookie cards in investment grade. Um, so if you're going after a Tom Brady rookie card for his Bowman Chrome, I would personally go after a PSA 10 or a PSA 9 or a BGS 9.5. Those are the only three grades I would touch for the long term. Um, I think these cards have got beaten up a little bit too much, and I think in the long term, this is going to be a $20,000 plus dollar card again. Um, you know, of course, just the demand. If you look at goats across other sports, um, for example, Michael Jordan's most coveted rookie cards, um, they are a little bit more scarce. They are quite a lot more scarce than a Tom Brady Bowman Chrome. However, the price difference is incredibly high. Um, so I do see a lot of room for growth in Tom Brady's Bowman Chrome as well. Um, now, without further ado, we're going to hop right into the most unaffordable rookie card you can find of Tom Brady, and that is going to be Tom Brady's Playoff Contenders rookie card. Um, this has been his staple for high-end investors, um, and a lot of big investors coming into the market, the first place they're going to look at for Tom Brady rookie cards is going to be his Playoff Contenders. Um, it's begun to be one of the most important rookie cards in the sports card market. Forget about just the football market, um, but these cards right here, I believe in the long term, are all going to be six-figure cards. Um, just given the importance of the card, the importance of Tom Brady, and the legacy he's going to leave as the undisputed GOAT, um, and I don't think anybody's ever going to come close to it, at least for a good 20, 30 years. Um, and truly, I think Tom Brady is an icon in the NFL, and this card is going to do incredibly well in the long term. It's hard to really put into words, you know, Tom Brady's performance and his overall, you know, lasting impact and the importance of he some of these cars right here that I've been talking about. Um, so I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did want to go ahead and enter into the giveaway for the Magic Johnson, go ahead, like this video, comment the word done, and subscribe to the channel. Other than that, I really hope you guys did enjoy, and I'm out. Peace.